with things that present themselves during an availability and uh, everything they did um, to stay together as a uh, tight-knit team across the board and ultimately to get her out looking uh, pretty much absolutely fantastic. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I'll keep it short and sweet and we'll uh, move along with the ceremony. So uh, next, uh, Jeff. Yeah, so we'll invite up the project superintendent, Jeff Brichette. Thank you, Admiral. Uh, just a couple quick words. Uh, I want to say uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, this is a great day to, for this achievement to come out and recognize that. Uh, so I'm going to give this opportunity before I come back up and say, uh, say the words I like to say. Uh, I'm going to give the commanding officer, Captain Robert Aguilar, uh, the mic and uh, let him share with us one of the great team members that we have. This captain is awesome and uh, we appreciate all his support and we'll continue with the support that we have to get this availability complete. So Captain Aguilar. Thank you, Jeff. So first of all, I'd like to recognize Admiral Brendan McLean, my uh, strike group admiral, uh, my boss, and it's a pleasure to have you out here to witness this. Uh, admiral Meyer, uh, Commander Naval Air Forces Atlantic, could not make it out, but uh, I know he's super excited that this team has been able to do what hasn't been done in 13 years, and that is meet a major milestone uh, with our on-time undocking. Uh, and we could only do that because of the outstanding uh, teamwork between the uh, America's shipyard and the crew of the George Herbert Walker Bush. And uh, I, this is my second time in uh, Norfolk Naval Shipyard. And I can tell you, it's the best I've ever seen it uh, in the seven, eight years that I've been involved in the nuclear power program uh, with aircraft carriers. And I just couldn't be more privileged to be part of the team that is making it happen. So thank you, Jeff. Admiral, thank you for uh, inviting me out here to be part of this. And uh, thank you and all of your teammates, whether it's George Herbert Walker Bush or America Shipyard, thank you for getting us out. Because what it means to America is that our ship will be ready to take its place on the line in the summer of 20. 22 and do what she was built to do and that is project power globally thank you very much thank you captain all right so uh one of the hardest things that uh we had to do believe it or not was to choose two people to come up to bust the rock out of the hundreds of people that uh that, that played a big role in of uh, in getting the ship uh, get all the work done get the ship out of dock so these two people that are going to come up are representing our production our engineering, our lifting and handling, our support folks, the ship, all of us together as one team, which is one awesome team. Uh, they have a, a big uh, shoe to fill and that's come up here to bust this rock uh, and represent all the people that played a role in this. Uh, so with that said, I'd like to call up uh, Janelle Jackson from Shop 38 and Robert Wheeler from Shop 72. Okay, is everybody ready to break this rock? All right, Team Bush, I'm gonna say one, two, three, break that rock, and then you guys break the rock, okay? One, two, three. Woo! Way to go, Team Bush, I love it, woo!